Is it disclosed or non-disclosed? Do we know yet? This exam will not be disclosed. Okay, okay, okay. That makes sense. Do you know why? Can, can you think of why it wouldn't be disclosed? Because I feel like if it's online, hmm, I guess, well, I can't really see any negatives to disclosing it. Can you think of any? Yeah, well, here's the thing. I mean, LSAC in, in years past, let, let's say 2018 and prior, the LSAT was offered four times a year only, and three of those were disclosed. Okay. One of those, the February LSAT, was reserved in the bank for future administrations, like okay the Sabbath observers test, which is on a Monday, not Saturday, or overseas administrations, or for, the, for let's say if there was an inclement weather issue like a snowstorm or a hurricane, a tornado, and they had to cancel it in a certain part of the country, they would have undisclosed tests to use in reserve for those unique circumstances. And when the LSAT went from being four times a year to 10 times a year, they couldn't suddenly produce six more exams per year. It cost them nearly a million dollars to produce one test form with 100 questions scored. So they have to still undisclose or non they can't disclose most of them and can only release three in order to keep more in the bank for those other administrations. And the April LSAT was never going to be released anyway. And so there's just not changing that. Thanks for tuning into the show. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already to be notified of new episodes as I release them. And feel free to reach out if you need anything at all as you move forward with your prep. I'm happy to help however I can. In the meantime, I wish you all the best and take care.